Hey guys, DJ Proper, here to talk about what butt axe is good for a long distance bug out. Alright, first, double bit caps. All purpose. Weight, weight is about maybe four to six pounds usually. This one's about a four and a half pounder. Next, uh, Small woodsman axe. This stands for smaller axes, camp axes, and uh, large hatches. Now I'll just put that. Cold steel trail hawk. This stands for. Um, it just stands for lightweight. This stands. This stands for tomahawk. Lastly, the star is a double dash T. This stands for small hatchets. Each one is good for different situations. We'll start with the saw. It's good for light chopping. It, it, it bites deep. But being the small head surface, it takes quite a few swings to get through even the smallest material. Yet it easily cuts through one inch branches. The trailhawk, same purpose, but you get a little bit more reach. That dog's annoying. Anyways, rifleman's hawk. Gives you the same reach as the trailhawk, but for me it requires two hands. It bites just as deep as the trail hawk. Mind you, I'm not a professional with axes. Much less, a, I'm just an activist. I just know how to use them. The double bit axe. Very heavy. Bites very deep. Mind you, this one is very dull and very hard for me to use. So it's not going very far. Ah. So all in all, your best choice is probably the uh, tomahawk, small axe, or even a hatchet. All, all have they're basically the same characteristics, but they're much lighter compared to this. But if you are of our, of, if you are of large build and you know how to use one, the double bit, the, the larger axes, wouldn't be a bad choice. Some of the things I didn't show are splitting axes, lightweight hiking axes, other other styles of tomahawks, and splitting mauls. All of those are good choices except the maul. The maul is just too heavy. We're talking Thor's hammer here. DJ Prepper signing off.